another Saturday here we are we are back and happy and so joyful uh, for such another amazing moment another great Saturday that we are ready to engage you that we are ready to you know to engage in another a very wonderful conversation always on dialogue at the well i'm your host Dwiga prince and i want to welcome you uh, for this show and um, as usual as we have always been lit as we've always been uh, you know bringing you uh, what is up to date what is trending what is emerging among us young people uh today one more time we have a wonderful guest that is not uh, a stranger to our show she has been here before aile siku nyingine aliniambia turudi hapo kwa tent na before the end of this show nitawaambia vile aliniambia kwa sababu sasa ah alituambia tulimuuliza kama akona mtu akasema turudi hapo nyuma ya tent so today uh, she is back and uh, i want to tell you that uh, she is ready and loaded for another amazing show uh, you and you and better not miss this uh, welcome so much asante yes asante mm-hmm. praise the lord once again uh, it's a great privilege to be here my name is pastor mary Wangoi born again Jesus is Lord maybe for the people that you are meeting for the first time I am a pastor by the grace of God it's house of power chapel utawala under the leadership of Reverend David Matthew together with Dr. Margaret it's a great honor to be alive on uh, Wema TV today thank yep. you mchungaji for giving me the opportunity to come so that we may be able to share together Asante. Karibu sana. Karibu sana and thanks for honoring our show. This is a very busy lady. Muzimuone hivyo hata kama alisema turudi pale nyume ya tent. Eh? She is very busy. She has a very tight schedule and uh, she has always sacrificed to come here uh, so that we can engage so that we can share so that we can uh, get rebuilt generations here so that we can be able to change destinations. Uh, na ukiona amekuja leo Eh kuna maneno hapa leo kuna maneno and I want to tell you that uh, ukiona nimeshikashika vitu hapa unajua kuna maneno so uh as we are engaging vile tuliengage pale nyuma ya tent eh, eh, kuna vitu tuliongea na we designed to uh, you know to keep uh, the, the conversation roaring and uh, today uh, there is something that is been happening uh, with our young people there is something that is uh, out there na vijana wamekuwa na shinda na wengine wamekuwa na maneno and they have been you know uh, some of them are going to church pastors others are uh, looking for for counselors so they can try to to help them uh, na most of them eh, wamekuwa na shinda especially kuna kuna hawa 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 mavijana eh hawa mavijana hawa mavijana those who are getting to some levels in life unapata miaka inafika mahali somebody anasema i want to i want to to pursue a career i want to make money anasema i want to make money unapata jamaa amekonga 45 eh amekonga 45 baka sasa anaanza kuwa ashamed of being single na unapata naye kuna mrembo mwingine naye pale pia in the process of uh, you know uh, pursuing their career unaona wanasema sikuizo wanasema ni kujipanga in the process of uh, you know kujipanga he wants to kujipanga he want to make some good money anataka to make um, you know a living anataka kukua stable wanasema kukua independent enough so inafika mahali eh unapata this person is single and is very much ashamed of being single baka hataki watu wanjue yeye ni single ni single yani hata wakati wa kukatia eh in the process ya kukatia unataka unapata ana ile confidence ya kukatia so and um, we have a number of young people that are out there um, because of where they have um, they have been brought up because of what they are doing others because of age others because of um, the environment the people they are living with kwanza nita kupatia one scenario hapa because of the environment they are living in because of the people that they are interacting with because of the culture because of the church uh, some people unapata wameingiwa na uoga ya kukua single and that is why today I want us I want us to learn I want us to learn all uh, to get it from uh, uh, Pastor Mary here uh, atwambie how do we overcome our vijana how should they overcome wale wako pale they are out there vijana wako pale wanasema mimi ninajaribu kungangana tu you know mimi am single lakini sitakangi watu wajue unaona because of where I am wengine wako wako single they have money wako na pesa wako sawa wamejipanga but they are unaona wako na ile the, 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 the fear ama sijui nitaita for 
xenophobia ndaita <laughs> phobia mwingine alisema inaitwa monophobia eh mwingine that that kind of that monophobia i want us to help these young people that are going through that wengine they are ashamed because of uh, probably uh, of the age mm? watu wanajua eh watu wakisema niko single mpaka watu wakati watu wanaji introduce eh wakifika ile ile nini ya ya relationship eh anaulizwa relationship anasema complicated mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. na wengine siku hizi wanatafuta maneno hapa mpaka wanasema open eh mm-hmm. eh yani those kind of nini wanapata mpaka wakati wakati wana apply kuna married kuna nini kuna mpaka divorced wengine wana tick divorced they don't want anybody to imagine mm-hmm. that they are not married mm-hmm. so i want us i want you to help these young people and as we get rolling eh, as we get rolling as we get to move uh uh to to, to this point there is something that is happening uh, with our young people is uh, we are in a generation and uh, especially in terms of age and uh, the, the, the other things eh, is um, is there a problem in our community in our in our days that being single is being stigmatized mm-hmm. praise the lord um I'll start by sharing a word of God from the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse number 18. Mm-hmm. The Bible says and the Lord said it is not good that a man should be alone. Uh-huh. I'll make him a helper meet for him. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. Uh-huh. Uh speaking about overcoming the fear of being single. Yes. There are four main things that I would like to point today. Yes. And as we have we can be able to study the scripture just for a few seconds. Yes. The Bible is telling us mm-hmm. and the Lord says. Yes. Meaning these are the words of God mm-hmm. himself. Yes. It's not good for a man to stay mm-hmm. alone, but I will make him a suitable helper. Yes. So, when somebody is single, mm-hmm. there are four things that can never be given. Yes. By anybody else uh-huh. apart from God. Yes. Number one, you should never fear about these things in mm-hmm. life. Yeah. Let me digress. Never fear uh when you are married and you don't have a child. Mm-hmm. You might be so rich. You might have fame. Well educated, well known, you are recognized in the world, but a child is only given by God. So number two is child. You said one is spouse. Number one, a spouse uh-huh. can only be given by God. Yes. It's only God who can give you a spouse. Uh-huh. No matter how educated you are. Mm-hmm. That's why unakuta mtu ako amepita uh, amefika ile senior bachara mm-hmm. and yet is not married. Yeah. He's handsome, the lady is figure 8, good looking, have money, but it's only God that can give you a spouse. Yeah. And that's why we are said number two, it's only God who can give your child. Yes. The Bible says in the book of Genesis, it's the Lord. The, okay, let me first uh, start with Genesis. Uh-huh. The Lord said unto Abraham, uh-huh. I'll give you a child. All right? Yeah. And then when we study the Bible, it's after two decades, over mm-hmm. 20 years. Yeah. The Lord is coming back now to give Abraham a child. Uh-huh. Having no child and having no spouse does not mean that you are a sinner. Uh-huh. You are in the process of the making of God. Yeah. There is something that God wants you mm-hmm. to 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 be, maybe to become a testimony. Yeah. There is something that the Lord wants to purify in you. Yeah. There is something that God would like to be teaching somebody else. Uh-huh. God would like to be showing his faithfulness mm-hmm. manifest not yeah. showing God only manifest. Yeah. God would like to be manifest about his greatness his power his sovereignty mm-hmm. and he he ma- he uses these four things mm-hmm. to show his sovereignty yeah. that when he gave abraham now we are able to stand in confidence and say mm-hmm. it is uh, everything is possible with god because uh-huh. when we look at sarah she was old by the time she was delivering mm-hmm. and number three is wealth 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 utajiri uh-huh. yes. kama mungu hajapenda my brother hautatajirika uh-huh. Ni Mungu upenda. Ni Mungu upenda. Uh-huh. Ni Mungu anabariki mtu na utajiri. Yes. Whether you are a Christian or not, uh-huh. it's only the Lord who can give you or bless you with health. Uh-huh. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy 8:18, it is the Lord that gives man the power to make wealth. The power, yes. The power to make wealth. Uh-huh. And number four, health. Health. That's why even the prominent people die. Uh-huh. They are taken to the best hospitals yes. but they cannot recover uh-huh. with all the wealth because it's only God that can give you wealth. 
coming back to being a single. That's why I pointed the four things so that you may tend to understand this. Never feel ashamed uh -huh. when you are not married. Yes. When you are 30, mm -hmm. you are 40, you are getting to 50. Mm -hmm. For the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, at mm -hmm. the due time, mm -hmm. the Lord shall make everything beautiful. Whoa. So meaning is a man, ebu jitokeze, jionyeshe, simama, mbele awatu, confidently. Why? Because if the Lord shall remember you at 45, mm -hmm. na uluku omejificha, watu watajuaji kuna mungu mwenye naweza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. So it is, it is, um, People should not be ashamed. People should not fear uh, being single. Never. Now, what what do you think um, when somebody is single eh, mm -hmm. and they are going through all these kind of uh, you know uh, from friends? Mm -hmm. I have I have I have a case uh, have a case scenario of mm -hmm. uh, of a girl that says uh, that um, where she is, everybody is uh, is married. So she's going through a lot of hell because they are like, when are you getting married? unacherevesha watoto kwenda shule you know that kind of language eh mm. wanakuambia wewe sasa unajua wewe unacherevesha watoto sasa hivi angekuwa ameenda shule angalia wangu you see that kind of a pressure that they are getting from their friends eh? how do we make such a person happy mm. when they are single number one, you need to accept acceptance accept the bible says there were two there were three women uh -huh. one was called naomi the other one was called ruth yeah and the other one was called Offer, I'm a offer. Kulingana na marilizomea. The other one was called offer. The Bible says mm -hmm. that uh, now we are speaking of how can you be able to overcome the yes. pressure yes. of being single. Uh -huh. The Bible says that after the husbands died because uh -huh. the husbands went to be with the Lord. Yeah. So we see now we are left with Naomi mm -hmm. and Ruth. Mm -hmm. And Ruth made a decision that I'm not going to leave you. Yes. You are God is my God. Your people is my people. And Ruth accepted that the husband is gone. Mm -hmm. And I'm not following my mother yes. because of the husband. Mm -hmm. So the way to overcome the pressure uh -huh. of getting married mm -hmm. and of being single, accept. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't accept, you will end up compromising. Yes, yes. And the Bible is telling us, let me go back there shortly, after Ruth accepted and mm -hmm. she made her own firm decision. Yeah. So number two, accept and make firm decision. Mm -hmm. Your principle. If you are believing God that one day when I get married, we shall have a car with my husband, mm -hmm. we shall have lands, yes. we shall have supermarket, mm -hmm. start working, having that supermarket as you are mm -hmm. waiting for your husband. To come. Eh, to come. <laughs> start working on having that car uh -huh. as you are waiting for your husband yeah. to come. Accept. Uh -huh. And then for us to be able to control the pressure of getting married on the same, mm -hmm. uh, don't get married for your mother. Mm -hmm. Don't get married for your friends you will end up getting uh, to the wrong relationship mm -hmm. and to the wrong marriage. Yeah. What can we say? We get to understand there is somebody who gets married at the age of 40 mm -hmm. and the person uh, dies at the age of 90. Uh -huh. So yeah. the person have enjoyed the marriage for 50 years. Mm -hmm. And another person gets married at 20 uh -huh. or even 25. You know, that's the prime time, yeah. especially for the ladies. Eh? You get married at the age of 20 and 25. Mm -hmm. And then the husband dies, yes. God forbid, mm -hmm. at the age of 30. And when you're getting married, he was 28. Mm -hmm. So you have only enjoyed your marriage for two years. Yes. So... And uh, it happens down the line, you don't get another person to marry you. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. what we can say, don't get marriage because of pressure. Mm -hmm. Accept, make firm decision, keep going mm -hmm. on this journey. Yeah. Keep going and then pray. Pray. Mm -hmm. Omba, tumesema pale mwanzo, ni mm -hmm. mungu tuwa naeza kupea hazi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, omba, God, usijipange, yeah. mm -hmm. ukijipanga, utajipanga vibaya. Mm -hmm. Because any blessing that you get prematurely shall leave you. Yeah. Abraham thought by getting Ishmael, He's mm -hmm. making the purpose and the pr fulfillment of God to come. Yes. But any blessing that is not from the Lord, any mm -hmm. premature blessing, one day, mm -hmm. it shall leave you. Mm -hmm. Don't get into other people's marriages. Yeah. Stick to the lane of God. Mm -hmm. Now, Ruth, alipatuwa na Boaz, akiwa kwa lane ya God. Uh -huh. Yes. Huh? Now, from, from where you sit, from where you sit and what you have experienced and uh, what you are going through and who you are mm. and what you do, do you think that young people fear being single? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. 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 
Now, why do you think young people <laughs> fear being single? <laughs> oh, well, interesting. Um, uh -huh. uh, I can define it this way. Uh -huh. You know, uh, when we are discussing about single, uh -huh. it's uh, it's uh, it's from the age of uh, 30, 32, apo mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in a hit both the lady and the man. Yeah. That eh, hey, manze akuna mtu. Mm -hmm. Time imeenda. Time imeenda. Mm -hmm. When a lady is getting married, I said it from my side. Eh? Uh -huh. When a lady is getting married, she's looking for two things. Yes. Number one, she's looking for security. Security. From a man. Uh -huh. She need a man who can protect her. Yeah. She need a man who can stand and say that this is my wife. Mm -hmm. You know, mtu wana muulizia. Yeah. She's looking for security and she's looking for... What can I say it in English? Ana anatafta kuitanishwa. Yeni uh -huh. ownership. Uh -huh. I think ownership, ownership is the uh -huh. word. Yeah. Because uh, you feel secure and uh, you when you have the ownership of something. A sense of belonging. Uh, thank you, Pastor. A sense of belonging. Yeah. And when a man is married, uh -huh. he's looking for a helper. Uh -huh. Right? So in the course of looking for a helper, I think upon the wonga miaka zinaendea. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Musaindisi. Musaindisi. Mutu wakuja kusaindia. Yes. So uh, the, 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 there are so many people out there that are still fearing. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, there are very many. Uh, do you think that, uh, or do you feel that there is something that uh, young people uh, have or got the fear of the unknown? Mm. They fear what they don't know. Yes. Uh, yes. That is, you fear uh, something about marriage. For example, mm -hmm. uh, what I mean in this eh, mm -hmm. is that uh, there are young people out there mm -hmm. that look into people that are married, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, the kind of life mm -hmm. that they are going through. Unapata mtu wa mekatakatwa, ndiyona mungine wa mekatakatwa, wa mekatakatwa uso hivi ya lafu imeshonwa shonwa, alafu sasa ameweko kwa, kwa media, then they, they are saying, eh, doa ni kufumilia. Mm. Uh, mm. So you are a young person, eh? Mm. Unaangalia mtu ameshona shona na then watu wanasema mm. ndoa ni kufumilia. Mm. Eh, no quitting, eh? Mm. Wanasema God hate in fact wameandika mm. God hate divorce. Yeah. Wewe ukiona kitu yenye Mungu anachukia, wewe ni nani upende? So mm. somebody is dying. So yeah. is there a possibility that uh, some young people are veering mm. uh, to get married mm. uh, because of what they have seen mm. the people that are married going through? Yes, and also it also happens eh? uh, most of the time when uh, somebody comes from a, a single background, you know, a single uh -huh. mother yeah. or a single father, mm -hmm. or, a, or a family that you are brought up in a family where there is torture. Yes. So you have the fear of nani kiolewa, mzia kue kama fadhi. Yeah. You know? Wakutandika mama. Eh, wakunichapa. Sasa unajua kuna kuchapa mama ni we unachapwa. Mm -hmm. So there is that fear. But mm -hmm. what I can say is that fear is the weapon of the devil. Yeah. You know, someone uh, tried to abbreviate that, the mm -hmm. word fear. Yeah. And he said that fear, the word fear means a false evidence appearing to be real. Uh -huh. You will never be your mother. Yeah. You will never be your father. Uh -huh. So there is that fear. Especially when you came from a background where there were conflict. Mm -hmm. But one thing that uh, the, the youth or the single pe people who are not married, they should understand that we are all uh, graven in the hands of God mm -hmm. uniquely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your destiny mm -hmm. is not yeah. my destiny. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, this young person out here that is saying that uh, where I am today, mm -hmm. I'm so ashamed mm. of, you know, saying that I'm single because of the people that I'm living with, mm -hmm. because of where I am, mm -hmm. because of what I have. Especially um, in ladies, when somebody makes some good money, when somebody is doing a good job, you know, mm -hmm. they are driving a nice car, they have a good house, you know, you are ashamed to say that, uh, you know, in front of people mm -hmm. that I'm, you know, I'm single. How do you help those kind of people? Or how do they overcome that kind of shame that uh, when you know, when you even mention it in front of people, they are like, ah, where, where? How old are you? Mm -hmm. You know, they, mm -hmm. they don't expect mm -hmm. you to be looking for a young man because there is a certain age. Mahali unafika mbaka watu wanakambia, ah, wewe sasa labda uchukua wa wenyewe. Yama ungoje mwenye, amevihwa. You know, that kind of a language. Eh? Mm -hmm. How should young people deal with such kind of shame? Okay, uh, we can go back from what we said accept. Yeah. And then, we see pretense. Yeah. 
it's a pretend you know at some point uh when you get to that status like you described you mm-hmm. say, you, you tend to pretend now i am like i am having somebody niko in a relationship i am doing good but above all yeah. if you are in that state mm-hmm. in this case now we are discussing about christians yes, you know yes. in the church eh? mm-hmm. have a mentor mm-hmm. all right don't walk alone yes have a mentor mm-hmm. have somebody that you can share out your heart with mm-hmm. uh, who can uh, who can advise you yes. do you know the reason as to why uh, Ruth was married mm-hmm. because Naomi was the mentor okay Ruth would never have been married because mm-hmm. Naomi told her go clean up yourself uh have good perf- perfume mm-hmm. put on the best clothes yeah. then sleep at the feet of Boaz mm-hmm. and don't wake up until he has seen you yes. so what i can speak what i can be able to encourage the ladies and the, the, also the men who are not married mm-hmm. speak have a mentor speak to your to your Naomi mm-hmm. have your Naomi somewhere mm-hmm. let her know that you're not married let her know that you're not in a relationship sama atakuombea ama labda kutape connection <laughs> Bishop. Now, um kuna mwingine alikuwa anasema hapa kuna ile sasa you are single. Wanasema that is club 1S. Wakasema you are serious ile single. Ya finger club 2S. Wanasema mwingine you are serious ile single searching. Unaona? Club 3S. Zinaendelea zikisonga. Serious ile single searching serious ile. Yaani zinaenda zikifika mpaka club. Na akasema kuna mwingine sasa is serious ile searching desperately mm. because now mahali wamefika mm. yenyewe ikigonga miaka ingine mbili sasa mm. uh, pressure from the parent yani mm. from all corners eh mpaka imefika mahali eh uh, this person is not you know is not ready to come out is not ready to, to speak mm. about it eh mm. these kind of people that have gotten to those levels those um, now i want you to speak to a young person eh that is they are into extreme levels ex- Three more levels back to mesema ni club uh, 4SD yani serious serious single searching mm. whatever desperate <laughs> I see you eh uh, amefika I see you yako search mm. how do we help them how should they overcome oh um, there is something that we call asako asako yes uh-huh. asako like when uh, when we draw a circle mm-hmm from point A to point B mm-hmm. when you draw that circle again mm-hmm. with your hands not using like something uh-huh. when you use your hands uh-huh. bila kurudishiria your uh-huh. circle yeah. utakuta uh, the point that you started uh-huh. it's not directly equal uh-huh. to the next point where you are going to finish uh-huh. right or where you finished at the last dot of uh-huh. a circle yeah. it's not going to be the same what i can say To, to, to the people now who are there who are feeling they are desperate mm-hmm. don't give up mm-hmm. don't compromise yeah because uh, ju- uh, the bible says that there is still hope mm-hmm. for a tree that has been cut <laughs> down <laughs> to sprout again to sprout again i tell you manzeka hujakufa huh? kuna hope yako ya kuoa <laughs> iko hope kuna hope uh-huh. ya kuolewa there is somebody somewhere somebody somewhere uh-huh. who is waiting for you yes Can I digress kidogo? Uh-huh. You see Elizabeth yes. could not have conceived mm-hmm. before Mary. Because when Mary conceived, yeah. she needed a destiny helper mm-hmm. to help her in that situation. Yes. And Elizabeth mark you the Lord knew that she was barren mm-hmm. for a very long time, but the moment Mary conceived, she was sent to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. There is another woman. Yes. Now, for these people who are feeling as if they are in the ICU desperation, my friend, Kenya ningesema don't compromise. We stick to kwa God. Mm-hmm. Na tena, at the end of the day, even if you don't get married. Mhm. Unaona? Hata usipoolewa utaona binguni. Mwingine mwingine alisema you are complete even when you are not married. Yes. Uh, okay, actually mm. marriage doesn't make a person complete. Yes. You are complete. You are created in the image of God. Mm. Even when you are not you have not been you know you have not gotten a partner, mm. you know. You are still complete mm. and you are still in the image of God. And actually marriage does not make you sure. an image of God. Sure. Yeah. And then you we need to understand if it's for a lady The Bible says that God made Adam Adam to sleep yes. so that angetoa Eve uh-huh. kwa, kwa umbavu yake. All right? Yes. So if you are a lady, you are not yet married, 
know that there is your Adam somewhere. Mm-hmm. Ulitolewa kwa u, kwa limbi yake. Mm-hmm. Na kama wewe ni aso wengine wanasema siku hizi labda <laughs> <laughs> labda limbi yangu ilichemshwa soup na wakakunywa. Hapa hey, <laughs> eh? na limbi yako jachemshwa soup. <laughs> Bado iko. Uh, so as long as you are there, you are a Eve. No, mm-hmm. there is an Adam. Yes. The only thing that is there, your Adam is asleep. He is asleep. Mm-hmm. Awake, speak to him. Mm-hmm. Usiku, mchana, muangeleshe. You need to wake up Adam. Because madam ni wengi wa melala, awajajijua <laughs> buwa. Ni wengi sana. I tell you, yeah. this is uh, Pastor Mary here. And uh, she is speaking it as it is. And telling you that uh, you can overcome the fear and imesema inaitwa monophobia you can overcome monophobia the fear of being single and the shame you can you know you can be able to deal with it you can accept yourself and do uh, quite a number of things and uh, because my directors over here are showing me that the time is up i want to give you a chance to do your parting shot All and right. wind up thank you very much mm. wow this is a powerful time yeah. we cannot be able to conclude on everything yeah. but you are grateful for the time that god had given us today What I can say is that uh, um, on this time and at this season, the right thing that a young person, when you are not married, always have a mentor. Somebody you are looking upon, all people call them my confidant. Mtu mwenye unaweza ambia siri zako na usikiwa ukiwa ukiwa empty, you've emptied yourself. Have a confidant or have a mentor. Number two. Don't stay on the shallow waters. Always stay in the deep waters. Yes. Because now at this time and, and at this age, hakuna kitu kingine imebakisha. Ni wewe tu na God na ku grow life yako. Yeah. So kama mtu akuji, weji align na God. Muitu kiongoji ya Mungu. Yes. And uh, adding on the same is that uh, uh, always be making yourself that person that God ever created to be yes. apart from getting married try to identify your purpose you mm. have another hidden purpose yes. in your life beside uh, beside getting uh, married for the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness mm-hmm. and all the other shall be added unto you yes. marriage itakuja kaa sosa wakati umejia line god so look for your purpose walk in your purpose and all the other shall be added unto us Yes, Pastor Mary over here um, on Dialogue at the Well says that, uh, you know, you need to align yourself. You need to check on your purpose first. She says that identify a mentor. You cannot just be a lone ranger. Lazima ukue na mtu pale at least somebody that, uh, you know, you can share. Tusiri, tule tuchavu, tutakataka tule tuwako tuandani. Somebody that you can share with and somebody that can help you to grow yourself this has been dialogue at the well and i want to tell you this is where you cannot afford to miss this amazing conversation that comes to you every saturday at 6 p.m only on wema tv see you on saturday same time same place with such amazing guests like pastor mary we love you you are wonderful people have a nice evening god bless you